Barrow have already surpassed last year's points total. An outstanding achievement, says manager Pete Wilde. But they aren't finished there. A win today could keep up the pressure on the automatic promotion places as they seek a return to the third tier for the first time in 54 years. Swindon's victory against Notts County moved them towards safety, but it isn't a done deal just yet. And having never been relegated from the Football League, another three points would see them breathing far more easily throughout the run-in. Swindon will look to play their way out. Well, it's a dreadful error here, and Telford is in. And somehow Swindon survive. Look at this. Just a fresh air shot. Completely misjudged where the ball was. A real heart in mouth moment. And Dom Telford thought he had the goal at his mercy. They were unbeaten in six games before they lost to Morecambe last time out. And they're under pressure again here. And it's well worked into Glatzel. Fine save. Paul Glatzel, the man in form. Given plenty of space here. Barrow looking to play their way out from the back. Almost playing themselves into trouble. And look at Glatzel peeling away. In on goal. And the goalkeeper read it well and got down. Chance now for the counter-attack. Here come the visitors. Almost through to El Grisetti. That's composed from Chesters and now Barrow can move forwards. Launching a counter of their own. It's Worrell. Appeals for handball. Not given. And here's Telford who's in. And it stays out again. How close can Dom Telford get? Referee said no handball. On we went. And Telford bearing down on goal. He may have been trying to pick out a teammate at the far post. Godwin Malif got across and made the block. Well won back. Here's Glatzel. Never afraid to have a go this time. He sets up a teammate. And it breaks for Kokolo. Oh, what a finish. What a way to make the breakthrough. And what a way to score your first goal for Swindon Town. That's all found McEachern. McEachern got his head up. And Kokolo swept it into the top corner. Fine finish. And here's Barrow nil, Swindon one. Now Blake Tracy and McEachern. And this is well worked. Drinan is dispossessed though. One back. And now into Glatzel. Fine footwork. And an even better finish. And just like that, it's two. Paul Glatzel scores for a fourth game in a row. And Swindon double their advantage. Had the composure to sit the defender down and tuck it away. Plenty of work for Barrow to do in this second half. Can they respond? It's not forwards. Barrow wants a free kick, but we play on. And Swindon could be in here. It's Kokolo. Cuts it back. And it's a really important save. Drinan is denied. But what was going on here? Chaos at the back. Kokolo was alive and created the chance. It sat up for Drinan. And out came Paul Farman to make a really important block. Oh, 
Well, swung into the penalty area, flicked on. Here's Stockton. And Stockton will have a go and force the save. He has three goals in his last three games. That's the confidence to try from that far out. And he worked the goalkeeper too. Now Kane. Kokolo stays on his feet. Can't pick out a red shirt. He'll be kept in play by Albuzedi. And there's Glatzel deflected. Keeper parries. Danger still not clear. And this time it's headed behind. Swindon driven forwards by Kokolo as they have been all afternoon. The cross didn't find its intended target. But the red shirts kept pouring forwards. El Buzedi found Glatzel, deflected. And the keeper got down well to make the save. Swindon unable to get this under control and they've played themselves into real trouble here. It's a big chance for Aqua. Almost a route back into the game. Gift wrapped. Aqua latched onto it. Flashed across the face of goal. Well, Barrow have the division's third best defensive record coming into today, but that's not been on display this afternoon. Swindon finding a way through time and again. Now more space on this right-hand side. And real progress being made again. And the referee has a decision to make here. Free kick right on the edge. And the goalkeeper pushes away. Kane right down the throat of the goalkeeper. And he stayed alert and got two strong fists behind it. Is there a final chance to get back into this one? More appeals to the referee. Nothing doing, no penalty. Here's Kokolo. Clarence can't find a red shirt. One back and one back well. Into the penalty area. And nodded goalwards by Aqua. Off the frame of the goal. Aqua, who's made a real impact since coming on. Rising highest. Can't convert. <laughs> Jack Bycroft. And there goes the final whistle. Swindon all but secure safety, but for Barrow, the playoffs are far from a done deal. A setback for Pete Wilde and his players, one they really could have done without. It's now back-to-back -back defeats at the most crucial time of the season. Swindon make it six points from nine with a confidence-boosting performance. Paul Glatzel stealing the show once again as he scored for a fourth game in a row. The Robins have never been relegated from the Football League and they may well be safe for now for another season. It finishes Barrow nil, Swindon two.